Hey what's up guys, I'm GD Cuba and today we've got another unboxing from dailypuzzles.com.au So here I've got the new MGC 6x6 as well as a Yushin Kylin version 2 I know this Kylin isn't a very new cube but I got it so that I can compare it to the GAN XS which you would have hopefully just seen my review on So before we get into the 6x6 let's just quickly get into the 3x3 so I got this cube in black instead of transparent so that I can use it in competition if I should want to. It's a pamphlet inside the bottom of the box but that's not important. Let's get onto the cube. So this cube was available in, like I said, black or transparent and it comes with tiles instead of stickers. And straight away these tiles feel quite slippery but I feel like I'll get used to them. The shades are quite nice, they're quite fluorescent and a nice change from the last tiled cube I used, which was Gans RSC. Let's just get into some first turns. So I'll see this cube is magnetic. The magnets seem quite light, however the cube is locking up quite a bit and I'm not sure whether that's because it's too tight. I don't know, it feels like it could do with some loosening or maybe set up because the cube is quite dry right now. But overall this cube feels quite nice. It's quite sandy, but it looks like it could be a good cube for a beginner. So stay tuned for my comparison of this versus the $90 GAN XS. So now let's go on to the most exciting bit, the 6x6. So it comes nicely wrapped in plastic. Okay, so with the plastic wrap out of the way, let's just get on to opening the actual box. So it's got a nice cardboard MGC sleeve over it. So let's take that off and let's get into the box. Here is the cube, as well as what looks like an accessories box. And I got the cube in stickerless because I quite like stickerless cubes. Before I even take a proper look at this cube, this 6x6 is very small and I feel like I'm going to like that. Let me just get my 5x5 for comparison. So yeah, it looks like it's only about 62mm, which is quite nice. Okay, so nothing else under here. Like so. It's got a picture of what I'm guessing is the CEO of YJ. First out we've got what looks like a screwdriver. Okay, so we've also got a pamphlet as well as two different sets of springs and then just some extra magnets for the inner and outer edges and corners. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's just get straight onto the cube. Okay, so the cube's a comfortable weight and size. Thankfully the plastic is glossy. And yeah, so these shades look to be the same as what's on Moyu's newer cubes, such as the GTS3 and Aosu GTS2. Let's just get into first turns. Ooh. Please forgive me not being able to turn a 6x6 very well, but this is my first magnetic 6x6, so the edges feel a bit heavier than I'm used to. It's got the nice quiet sound of most of the MGC cubes, which is definitely very pleasant. All the edges seem to have the same sort of turning, with a nice medium magnet strength I'd say. It's definitely the perfect strength in my opinion, but the cube is very fluid and quiet, which is definitely very good. Doesn't appear to have any primary internals. But yeah, this cube definitely feels really great and I'm glad to have a new 6x6. Seeing as my main 6x6 is broken and my other 6x6 is a budget 6x6, so I've just stayed away from the event entirely. But yeah, I'll definitely be practicing 6x6 a lot more. If you want to buy either of these cubes, make sure to check out dailypuzzles.com.au where they have a wide variety of speed cubes and they ship internationally. And you can get 10% off your entire order with my discount code GDHuber at the checkout. So what more could you want? I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later.